Hey guys, this is Gawain. Hope you're having an awesome day. I woke up literally 10 minutes ago and I thought to start of my day I would do another video where I am applying costume makeup for you guys. I had so much fun doing the other one where I was applying vampire costume makeup. I thought I would do another one. This time I bought uh, a Day of the Dead kit from my local drugstore right here. Really exciting, so I will be applying this for you guys. Uh, really cool, some eye decals here, some eye makeup, some little crystals, some beads to put on my face. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna have fun. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's see how it turns out. Hopefully it looks somewhat similar to this. I don't know how well it'll turn out. My vampire one didn't turn out very well. It was kind of the opposite of what I wanted, but at the same time, it turned out very freaky. So let's see how this will turn out. Please excuse me if I yawn here and there. It is early in the morning. I am a bit tired, so please excuse that. Oh. Okay, so to kind of review what I have, I have the two eye decals that will go over my eyes like that. I have some gems, some real emeralds. Uh, some bead flower things here. I also have some face makeup, and I have a sponge right here, and I have a little, I guess, makeup applicator right here. And there are instructions on the back. Uh, using the sponge, apply a white base. So I will start with the white cream right here, like so. Take the sponge and apply the white cream all over my face. Let's see how this goes. Oh, oh, it's so hard. That's what she said. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So just like my vampire makeup, when I first started applying the white cream on my face, I didn't know how thick it was going to be. I didn't know if there would be full coverage when I applied it. It's fairly decent, I suppose, so I guess I will go with this one. I was thinking of maybe using the vampire white cream like I used in my previous uh, applied vampire makeup video, but I think this will do for now. Do, 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 do. And also in my previous video where I applied the vampire makeup, my facial hair was a lot longer. So the uh, white cream didn't really apply over the facial hair very well. But in this video, it's a bit shorter. So I'm hoping that the white cream actually kind of sticks over it. Ah. Honestly, this is going to take forever to do. <laughs> ah. And what made me want to buy this one is because um, the actual makeup actually reminds me of the movie Coco by Walt Disney, the Pixar movie. Um, it actually does remind me of the whole Day of the Dead um, uh, kind of aesthetic that movie has. So I thought that was really interesting. For anybody who has seen the movie Coco, obviously a lot of people have. I forget what the name of the tradition is that they celebrate. Um... So please leave a comment, remind me, I forget, it's not called Day of the Dead, it's called something else, so just let me know in the comments. Good morning, Baltimore. I watched Hairspray the other day, um, the one with um, like Zac Efron in it, um, and I'm obsessed with that song, the opening number. Good morning, Baltimore. Uh, I immediately downloaded the song and I am obsessed with it. It was actually a really good movie. I actually genuinely enjoyed it. John Travolta as the Bob, really funny. I really do like musicals. There really hasn't been a musical that I didn't like. Uh, my favorite musical of all time is probably Moulin Rouge. Oh, I just love that movie so much. I can watch it every day for the rest of my life and I will not get bored of it or sick of it. I was just gonna say I've never actually seen a live musical before, but I did see Wicked a few years ago, um, which was really, really fantastic. I loved it. I would love to see Beauty and the Beast. I would love to see the Lion King in New York. I mean, that would just be such a treat for me. Uh, one day, it's on my bucket list though. I've never been to New York in general. Like I've never been to the States. I've never been to the United States of America. I've never left Canada and I'm 28 years old, which is kind of sad to say. I haven't really explored the world. Um, one of my things, one of the things I want to do one day on my bucket list is I want to go on a road trip, uh, starting on the West Coast and just driving through the states all the way to the east coast just taking a couple months to just drive through all the different states and the little towns eating at all the little cafes and just all the little sites uh and attractions just that's my dream just taking the summer um you know 
in my 30s because I am 28. So maybe in my 30s, just starting in, I guess, California, just driving all the way through to New York, um, just taking the summer to do that with a friend or a couple friends. I think that would just be so much fun. And vlog it. I would definitely vlog it. I would vlog my road trip. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the white cream right now. Um, just a few spots here and there I need to improve and then I'm pretty much done. Okay, so now the instructions say to apply the pink makeup to my cheekbones, which I will do right now. Uh, maybe I should wash the sponge first because there's a whole bunch of white cream on it. Nah. Ah, oh, it's so hard. Ugh. Okay. Hopefully this actually turns out okay. Uh... Okay, I guess like that. Okay, mine's a lot darker than what it shows in the picture. But we all know advertising is very misleading when it comes to, you know, if you've ever seen those commercials or an ad for McDonald's and the burgers, like the cheeseburgers, the Big Macs, they're always so perfect in the advertising. Like the cheese is so perfect, the bun and the lettuce. And then when you finally do get it, it's just like a dilapidated, sad burger. <coughs> I'm doing okay here. Not bad. Not bad at all. So next, using the applicator, apply blue under and around the eyes. So by applicator, I guess they mean this right here. And now I will take the blue and apply it around my eyes. Like so. I don't know. I, I'm thinking I should maybe add more white around my eyes first. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Ooh. A very beautiful sky blue. I love it. So I guess I'll apply it on my eyelids too. It says around the eyes, so I don't know if that means on the eyelids too, I'm assuming, but I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do it anyway, guys. Well, don't I just look like a hot mess right now? <laughs> uh... I feel like a six-year-old tried to apply his mother's makeup for the first time. <laughs> just a hot mess. Just a hot, sloppy mess. Sides there, too. <laughs> Why don't I look like her? Wah. So like I said in my vampire uh, makeup video, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to look off. It's going to look stupid. But at the end of the day, I'm having fun. And that's what, you know, Halloween's about. That's what dressing up is about. It's just having fun. It's going to look a little weird. It's going to look a little stupid. But I'm having fun right now. So that's all that counts. I don't know why I keep doing this. So I feel like the blue makeup doesn't have to be perfect around my eyes. Because remember, I am applying these um, decals around my eyes. So um, it'll be covering some of the blue anyway. So I think I'll stop with that for now. And what am I doing next? Using the applicator, paint the lips pink. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, there's some blue in there. You know what? My lips are gonna be a con candy of pink and blue, not just pink. I love con candy, by the way. Like cotton candy ice cream. Oh, I wish I had more light, like more natural daylight. Where I usually filled right here, there is very good daylight seeping in through my window right next to me, which is why I film here a lot. But again, it's early in the morning, so the sun isn't really up in the sky yet. So like I'm not getting lots of sunlight yet. It's not the afternoon, so I kind of have to work with what I have. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's all chunky. Go away. Go away. Thank you. 
Uh, uh, uh. You know what? I actually like the blue and pink a lot better than just the pink. I think it looks really cool. Again, looks like cotton candy. Or it looks like I just sucked off a unicorn. Either or. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't a family-friendly video. Okay, so I'm done with my cheeks, I'm done with my face, I'm done with my eyes, I'm done with my lips. So moving on, we have carefully apply jewels to the forehead and temples. Actually, no, carefully apply stickers above and below the eyes. This is the part I am most looking forward to, applying these guys over my eyes. So she actually applied them over her eyebrows, so hopefully when I do that and I go to take them off, it's not like a piece of tape, I yank it off and all the hair comes off. Ooh. Okay. Like so. Okay. So far, so good. Number two. Let's try and match up the sides. Ooh. I love it. Mm -mm. Guys, I cannot get that song on my head. Good morning, Baltimore. I'm shook. I'm shook. Oh my god, guys. I am loving this. It's actually not half bad. Kudos to myself, right? So now I can carefully apply jewels to the forehead and temples. And then using the applicator, create detailed swirls to the cheeks and forehead. Okay, so I will apply the jewels now to my face. Jewel number one. Hopefully I get, oh, it's not really in the middle. There we go. Just move it over a bit, like so. Jewel number two. Move this one down. Oh, I smudged it a bit. Oh well. Jewel number three. Uh, uh, uh. I feel like I'm decorating a cake. <laughs> but instead of a cake, it's my face. So pretty. So pretty and shiny. So pretty and shiny. Okay, so that is the last jewel, the last big jewel. And now we have these itty bitty little ones that are gonna be a nightmare to get on. Oh my god, you need like baby fingers to apply these. They're so small. I just dropped one. <sighs> okay, like I will not be able to apply these. These are tiny. How do you apply these? I have dude hands. I can't apply these. Like, what the hell? Okay. Well, not bad. Uh... <gasps> We're making progress! Yay! Yay! I guess in the middle there. It's kind of uneven, but whatever. So I did find the one I dropped, thank God. That one is totally botched. It's not even even. Oh well. Absolutely fabulous, I gotta say. So lastly, what I have to do, I have to apply these little swirls on my face like she did. Like there's one there and one there, a couple up there. So I will do that right now. So I guess like... So it looks like I'm done, and this is the end result. I absolutely love it. I think I did a fantastic job. I'm so proud of myself. Pat on my shoulder, pat on my own back. 
Uh, I love it. Fantastic. Beautiful. Amazing. Spectacular. Wonderful. I am in awe. Again, it doesn't really look like anything like the girl on the package. But I don't really want it to. Obviously, this is like photoshopped and everything to look perfect. Uh, but for what I did and my pitiful levels of makeup skills, I feel like I did a decent job. I would wear this out. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. I think it's fun. I think it's a little eclectic, cool, a little different. <laughs> so that is it for my video. Hope you enjoyed watching, guys. Hope you have a safe and happy Halloween. Leave a comment, tell me what you're dressing up as for Halloween. I'm very interested to know. Uh, so have a wonderful week, have a wonderful Halloween, and I will see you next time, guys. Bye.